Hello guys, it's Wade from Wade's Movie World. Guess what? Tonight is my very first movie review on this channel. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. Uh, I hope you uh, really enjoy my movie reviews and I hope uh, that my movie reviews will uh, make you want to go see some of these movies. So um, uh, one thing I'm going to tell you about most of these movie reviews that I'm going to do, I'm going to do my best not to put any spoilers in them. That way Let's say some of you haven't seen these movies. Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. You know, I want you to, you know, go watch the movie and enjoy it. You know, if let, let's say this movie that I'm going to do tonight um, makes you want to say, hey, I think I w might want to see that after hearing his review. Well, I mean, you know, you don't want me to spoil any, anything. I mean, it'd be like me saying, oh, this, this, uh, this, this, and this Avenger dies in, in Endgame, you know. I mean, <sighs> you know. I mean, if you haven't seen Endgame yet, you don't want me spoiling it for you. So, you know, um, you know, and um, <laughs> I don't want to be one of those people that gets beat up outside of a theater because I, I spoiled a movie for them. <laughs> like what happened in uh, one of the major cities a few weeks ago. Someone spoiled Endgame and someone beat the crap out of them. So, <laughs> so anyway. Okay, so let's talk about this movie uh, that I went to see tonight. Here we go. Bright Burn. So Bright Burn is directed by uh, a guy by the name of David Yarvesky. It is written by Brian Gunn and Mark Gunn, and it is also produced by James Gunn. And this is the same James Gunn who uh, wrote and directed both of the Guardians of the Galaxy films for Marvel. So James Gunn had uh, did some work on this film. Um, I don't know that how much he did or how much input he had or how much he was on the set because I know at the same time I think he was also been uh, getting his uh, movie going for uh, DC, the new one he's working on for DC, which is um, uh, uh, the Suicide, Suicide Squad sequel. So yeah, he was working on that and I think he's probably working on this at the same time. Um, so... But yeah, so James Gunn had a hand in this. Um, so Brightburn is, this is a horror science fiction thriller film. It's rated R. And the reason it's rated R is for horror, violence, and bloody images, and also language. Uh, I would not recommend taking young children to this uh, movie. I saw young children in there tonight, and after I watched it, I was like, oof, I don't know if I would have brought them to this. Um, I would say probably 16 years of age and older. So to all you parents out there, probably 16 years of age and older. That that would be my recommendation if I was a parent. I wouldn't take anybody 16 or younger to this film, or 16 and under to this film. I would not take them to see this film. It's just, uh, it has too much. So anyway, uh, the film's runtime is one hour and 31 minutes. The film stars Elizabeth Banks, as Tori Breyer, the mom. And I was trying to figure out the whole time, I was like, I've seen this lady before. I, I can't remember what I've seen her in. But then when it said Elizabeth Banks at the end of the movie, I was like, ah, oh, Rita Repulsa from uh, the Power Rangers movie. So I was like, yeah, I knew I'd seen her somewhere. I just couldn't figure it out. So she, she plays the mom. David Denman as Kyle Breyer. Jackson Gunn as Brandon Breyer. He's the son. And the film also stars uh, someone that I used to watch in a show uh, in the 1990s called Baywatch. His name is Gregory Allen Williams, and he plays Sheriff Deaver in this film. So this film is about a couple who are unable to have children. And one night, a mystery object falls from the sky, and it turns out to be a spaceship. And inside this spaceship is a baby boy. Um, basically this is a Superman story, but with a different spin. The boy is raised in a nice and loving home, but instead of learning about his abilities and powers, powers and using them to help and serve others, he uses them for very evil and uh, very devious things. Um, so in short, uh, this is a story about what if Superman were evil instead of good. So that's basically the whole premise of this story. Um, so the film takes a lot of things from the stories, the films, the comics, uh, and the TV shows of Superman as well. But it also brings in a lot of new things of its own that helps to bring this story to life and tell the story that they were wanting to tell about this young boy who's basically an evil version of the Superboy or Superman or, you know, Clark Kent or whatever. 
um, the, this film uh, does uh, really good work with the use of uh, the colors and uh, the way it's shot. Uh, the film uses a lot of grays and reds in the color schemes of this uh, uh, inside the film. I also really liked how they utilized the real shooting locations uh, in the woods, the farmhouse, the farm itself, the barn, and they use a lot of wide wide shots when showing the locations uh, in this film, and they did a really good job. I mean, the the film is is beautiful. I, I love the way they shot it. Um, the characters are are established fairly well, though the filmmakers I I think could have built them up a little bit more than what they did. Um, the son and the mom have a really good relationship you can see at the beginning of the film and the dad and son their relationship is good but you you can kind of see that you know this guy's th this kind of dad he's the you know he's the farmer dad he's probably the disciplinarian he's the, he's a hard ass dad so uh they have a good relationship but you can also see tension in there as well um but you also see how the story builds on that tension once the film really gets going and starts progressing. Uh, the blend of both practical and CGI effects is really good. The CG doesn't look cheap or crappy, and the way they did the practical effects uh, made this film just look amazing and, and real and not just something just, you know, kind of half-assed thrown together, so. Uh, is this a perfect film by, by any means? Oh, absolutely not. This film does have its problems, and there's a lot of things that... Uh, I may I would have done different, and then I could have said, well, maybe they could have done this better or that better or left this out or that out. Uh, but the one big thing um, that I have, uh, or the one big problem I have with this film that I thought the filmmakers uh, needed to tone down is some of the violence and bloody and gory images. I mean, wow. I mean, I haven't seen gore like that since, oh gosh, I can't remember how how long it's been but wow there's some really gory and bloody scenes in this movie and the one that really made me almost i mean I almost threw up I, I had to i had to turn my head just to keep from getting sick at this scene um there's a truck crash or a truck accident um and uh yeah it, it was that that scene was way too graphic they should have toned that down a lot and to wonder the um motion picture association of america didn't uh, hit them hard uh, and say, you know, you need to tone this down. Uh, if if I if I'd have been, you know, one who looked at this film and made the final decision about some things they needed to tone down, that would have been one of them. Uh, this film does leave things open for a sequel, which, in all honesty, I would like to see happen uh, because it leaves it wide open for a sequel. And uh, during the end credits, there's some scenes uh, showing you know, other things that are happening. So, you know, a new story could build on that. And there's some characters that, you know, we don't really see what happens to them in the end. So maybe they come back and, you know, they have their story told along with the, the, the kid who is the evil Superman. So, uh, will I own this film? Uh, absolutely. So anyway, um, I really enjoyed this film uh, as a Superman uh, fan and a horror fan and a science fiction fan. Uh, I thought it was put together very well. I mean, that they they did a lot of things right, but there were some things they did wrong. Um, but all in all, it was a very enjoyable film and one that I would absolutely add to my collection and absolutely see again. My final grade for this film is going to be a very strong B. So, yep, get to be a uh, great film. Uh, if you enjoy sci-fi or um, science fiction or horror or all that stuff combined, or even Superman, uh, this is a great film. Uh, you shouldn't miss it. It's one uh, worth seeing. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me some great comments in the comment section. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.